they're sitting in your mind because you can pull them out and look at them. That's correct. They're, they're there. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, and we saw on the clip where there are these fibers. Dr. Orton, what's going on? I wish I knew. I mean, you, you gave us the information to the entire panel of physicians about this entity. None of us had ever heard of it. There are similarities to other medical conditions like scabies, uh, fungal infections. There's another parasitic infection that crawls under the skin. I mean, it's like out of a Stephen King novel. I mean, it's... But do, do, do these things crystallize under the skin? Can, can these other diseases that you talk about, these other infections, no, no, that's, can, that's, 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 that's the skin? difference. What are you pulling out? What is, what is your explanation for this? I have been studying this ever since I became infected. At first, I thought it was a dermatology problem. It's not a dermatology problem. This is a disease inside. And I was seeing dermatologists and trying to treat the surface, and it's inside. And I have talked to a research doctor, and he said, this is a virus. The virus gets in the cells, and the cells then emit these fibers. And the fibers are a mineralized substance with silicon in them, and he calls them ACE pigments, alternative cellular energy pigments. And it is something, it's so bizarre that they actually materialize. You, I can bring out a, a piece of sore or a scab and look at it, and there will be fibers that instantly form on it. It isn't like I just pick them out. It's like all of a sudden, poof, there's a fiber. <laughs> And, and then these little flakes, they come out of your sweat, they come out of the sores. They aren't just in a sore. Then that same doctor told me that a lot of people have these fibers without these sores, mm -hmm. that it's actually a virus, and that it's of epidemic proportions, and that if people would take a black light home and look at themselves, if they have symptoms of eye problems, um, short-term memory loss, maybe indigestion problems, maybe um, learning disabilities, they too have this virus and nobody knows about it. You just described aging. <laughs> well, that's what I thought too, because... Well, no, really. Well, no, it's worse than that, because... I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do too, but it comes out a little bit faster than that, because I, I used to read and I could just have everything in a chapter right now. And then I started noticing, well, how come I got to reread this three times before I'm beginning to grasp it? And that got worse. And you're, so... You're not, <gasps> you're not crazy. I'm not crazy. And you, you haven't done crazy things in your life. Never. You haven't been I'm a hypochondriac. I'm as straight as a person there has ever been. And you're, you're an intelligent woman, obviously. You're very articulate. You're educated. Uh, you've been to school. What did you, what did you study? Well, I've studied pre-veterinary medicine, and I worked in the veterinary practice with my late husband. But then I went on and became an alternative uh, medicine, and I have an MD and a PhD in the alternative health sciences. Right. Well, let, let me just put it this way. Nobody's taking this seriously, and this isn't just you. I mean, there are people all over the United States that are reporting. There are several thousand now, I guess. That right. You did some research on it, and there's a whole community of people that are very frustrated by this. Um, would you take a fiber and evaluate it and say I, we could find out yes. what, at least what the composition and makeup is? Because I don't want to know. We'll have it extracted, and we'll, and we'll evaluate it. Next, she was cleaning her house one day and heard something pop. On nice! The Go ahead. It it's wasn't out. until she was showering that she noticed something very Stop. unusual. No, this We're is going to talk about that when we return. No, it's okay. It's a different segment. Stop. Yeah. Can you believe that? Two years ago, my I don't want to. No, just to be done. 